Good morning, everyone. Uh, the title of my presentation is uh, Baby Food Products uh, in Chicken Production. Poultry production is an important industry in Canada. Uh, besides conventional chicken, we can see an increased demand of organic chickens among the consumers. We know that uh, various combinations of antibiotics have been using in poultry not only for therapeutic but also for the growth promotion of poultry. However, it creates the concern that the overuse of antibiotics develops the resistance among the bacteria and which is disseminated in the environment and also the human via the food chains. So risks have driven how can we limit the use of antibiotics in poultry and one of the most possible solution could be the use of natural alternatives. As a natural alternatives, there are many examples of using plant and fruit derivatives. For our uh, research, we are focusing on the two important commercial crops of Canada, cranberry and blueberry. From the ancient time, cranberry has been used as a food, meat preservative, and also for the prevention of urinary tract infections. Cranberry and blueberry, uh, they have a dynamic con combination of bioactive compounds such as like uh, flavanols, proanthocyanidins in cranberry, and uh, anthocyanins, flavanols, and hydroxycinamides in blueberry make them uh, potential for uh, uh, to use as an alternative in poultry. Uh, from uh, Food, fruit processing industry, uh, the byproduct pomus is uh, just discarded in the landfill, which holds also the properties of this kind of bioactive compounds. So our uh, focus is to use that berry pomuses uh, to use as alternative uh, uh, because they uh, their research shows that they have had. Mm, excellent properties to inhibit the many kind of pathogenic bacteria and that can be helped to shape the gut microflora of uh, poultry. So uh, uh, our uh, hypothesis is that it, the berry promise has the potential to replace antibiotics in poultry and may limit the growing problem of antimicrobial resistance. So the overall methodology is we will get the berry pomus and that dried powder will, will go, go for several kinds of chemical analysis like pro, what kind of fibers, proteins or carbohydrates are present in them. And then we also do the bioactive component analysis like what are the uh, exact compound, compound are, uh, component are present in them. Then we will go for the in vitro analysis like doing MIC or MBC against several kind of pathogenic bacteria associated with poultry. Then with the best fraction or the, or the, the total fraction we will go for the in vivo study like chicken trial and we will look for the uh, chicken performance like feed conversion efficiency and the body weight. So after one month uh, of the uh, with the treatment of with this uh, feed supplement with the pomus, we will go for the uh, mm, we will collect the fecal samples from the cloaca and the cica, and then we will uh, do the culture independent uh, culture dependent analysis like microflora analysis, and we we'll also collect the blood to see the uh, e immunological profile by doing ELISA. So this slide is providing a, a result for of where we can see the uh, uh, component of the gut microflora from a broiler chicken. The top two charts are showing the control where we didn't use any kind of antimicrobial agents. If we see the first pie chart, we can see at the beginning, uh, like a zero-day-old chicken, uh, the 
the major bacteria present is the lactobacillus, which is a beneficial uh, for gut microflora that helps in, in uh, the, the immunity of chicken. So uh, after one month, we can see that the beneficial microflora has been substituted by many kind of pathogenic bacteria like Helicobacterium, Clostridium, and Campylobacter. So if we compare this control analysis with the uh, uh, the last one is not okay with the uh, our uh, treatment where we use two different doses of blueberry samples. The first one is 1.5 blueberry pomaces and the last one is the 3% blueberry pomaces. So if we compare the control on with the 3% blueberry pomaces, we can see that that uh, nearly half of the, uh, uh, the bacterial combination, uh, like uh, around 45% are lactobacillus and bacteroids, which are the beneficial for uh, chicken production, so chicken immunity. And, uh, and if we compare the pathogenic bacteria, like for the helicobacter, which is in the control is around 30%, it's come down to 14% with 3% blueberry pomas. It's uh, similarly, uh, it is true for the clostridium, which in the control sample, around 17.35%, 17, 17 which come down to 6.6% only. And uh, with the 3% blueberry poma supplemented, we didn't see the presence of other pathogenic bacteria like E. coli or Salmonella. <coughs> so in conclusion, we can see that yes, berry pomoses have shown bactericidal activity against major servers like Clostridium helicobacter Salmonella associated with broiler chickens could be a good choice as an alternative to antibiotics. And we hope that additional research will unlock the full potential of both berries and other fruit promises and how to best use as a feed ingredients to improve the immunity of broilers chickens. So I'd like to thank you all the funders and thank you all to listen to my presentation. Thanks.